What's up, guys? It's Ramon from Nine Block Gaming and Collectibles coming at you with another SH Figure Arts review. Today, we have Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Recent release from the Dragon Ball GT line. This is only the second figure we got. Hopefully, we have plenty more. Hoping for Gogeta, Baby, uh, and plenty more coming in the next line. Maybe we'll get Pan and Trunks and Goten, Gohan. And uh, all, all the rest of the things. I'm hoping we eventually start getting non-canical characters outside of the GT line. Uh, stuff like... what well, Actually, we already did. Uh, we're, we're starting to get some right now. But we have we, we have SS4 Gohan. Um, stuff that's appearing in the card games and stuff. You know, Nappa SS3. That would be awesome if we start getting figures like that. I know it's a long way out. But it uh, would be awesome. So let's check out the box quick. You got Vegeta, product image on the front, him using the uh, uh, Big Bang attack. Woo. Vegeta on the side, product images, you know, each individual one here. Different images of the movable parts. Vegeta on the bottom. Clear see-through with the head of Vegeta on top. Now let's open. I thought this was a open figure when I bought it, but I guess it is sealed. Let me crack this seal quick. I'm assuming this is going to have the new inside yep, instructions of how to change face plates, the movable back hair, tail part. And this is everything we get. We get two, uh, two fingers out with the thumb, uh, Kai attack hands. We have two completely open palms, slightly closed, and slightly closed, but these ones have a peg. You get three face plates, a tail, and his energy attack. Open it up. You, uh, so you get this uh, plastic piece here with the pull tab, pull straight down on it, out it comes. And man, in hand, this thing just looks absolutely phenomenal. Wow. Shout out to Tamashi Nations, Bandai, and uh, Figure Arts for making this figure because in hand, just the detail on this thing is incredible. Could use some shading. It has some in the jeans. You know, some in the chest portion and abs would have been great. But just look. The detail in the hair. How it has all those cuts to show the detail of it. Two separable movable pieces in the back. Sides. Both have slight articulation in, out, up and down. So this guy is awesome. Look at this. Very well balanced, too. I mean, I set this guy down. He stood perfect. So let's quickly go over articulation. Hardly looks up. Hair will move out a little bit, so he gets a little bit of motion. Not much. And I popped his face plate off, trying to look down comes out right there like that so I don't think that's worth doing much not look look you can see it pulls the faceplate right off trying to look down I 
So he does not get very good range of motion out of the neck. He gets left and right. As you can see, he can go down just a little bit, but it pops that face plate out almost immediately. Like I said, both pieces of hair, both sides and in back, are articulated. They move decently far. I wonder if uh, this plate's almost supposed to be like that. Unsure. There we go. Fully plugged in again. So you're going to have issues right there. Um, doesn't get much up and down. But he gets a butterfly joint. Mine is extremely tight right now. So the butterfly joint interiorly moves. But it enables the arms to go slightly above 90. Enables them. If you turn in with this, he gets his hands very close together in the front. And then with these uh, joints there, it, get, it goes very far back, as you can see right there. So you get bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, standard Tamashi wrist peg that can hinge if you have it on the right way. Right there it, right there it goes. You have diaphragm. He has movement at the waist. So he can go down that far, back that far. He is limited in articulation for a newer Tamashi figure art. But there's your range of motion there. He has swivel at the diaphragm. Slight swivel at the waist. It runs into his belt line there, so it stops. He can kick all the way out to a 90 to the side. Almost to a 90 in the front and back ever so slightly. You get a double jointed knee. You have a thigh cut. Don't think we get a boot cut. We don't. And a ankle rocker. And a toe hinge that bends incredibly far. One other point of articulation you are going to get on this guy is the tail. So this is on a peg, as you can see. So not only do you get your 360 rotation outside of the hair you can get it to go around you also can get it to go in and out on that peg depending on how the peg is So there he is, SS4 Vegeta. I felt like I had to wait way too long for this guy. Let's do some close-ups of the effect. There's his energy effect with the hole that it plugs into his hand. Angry, face sculpt. Smirking face sculpt. And attack using yelling face sculpt. All look absolutely phenomenal. Went over the hands already. If you have a Vegeta figure, they're pretty standard. The only ones that are included in this that are a little substandard is this. Uh, one for the energy because not all figures come with the energy effects. So you take it, 
that'll plug into the hole right there and there it goes holding the effect both hands have that and the rest are just your standard vegeta hands uh stay tuned after the video i'm going to have some pose uh pictures of the ss4 vegeta in its dynamic poses using energy attacks and such i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please hit that thumbs up and if you want to see more content from me, subscribe to the channel so you can be notified as I release content. I have a lot of Dragon Ball stuff upcoming. I have plenty of figures, uh, third-party accessories. The works coming under review for you guys. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy my content. And I hope to see you in the next video, guys. Later.